So now I've just removed the adapter. It was obviously way too short, not anywhere close. If you look within your um, kits that you get from tax, this is one of the tax kits complete unopened. You'll see a small black spacer there, a black one. It's the only black one in the pack. The two others are just like shims, silver shims. That one, I'll not take it out because I've already got one out, which is this. 5mm spacer, dead easy. Fit it there on your thread and fit it in. Take it and tighten up with 17mm. Don't have to be too tight. That's in spray. Now that's in. Um, in the new kits, are slightly different to the older kits that you used to get. You actually get, excuse this one being a bit battered because it's been in and out a few times. But that's, there's three different threads for, you, know, you see in the packets there, different pitches of thread. Where I say, real coarse thread. Mine's the finer of the three on my bike. So I select the correct one of them, also select the correct tapered on non tapered you get two in the kit you use the tapered one with the o-ring on as the top hat style man's the so I've been that one that was I was is just the tapered style that I'm using today so right let's fit the bike on again now it with the wider spacer had to do and film at the same time See now it sits on a lot more snugly. It's actually inside the frame now. I feel it's actually inside the frame in there. And the caliper is well away, a good few mil. You can see that very clearly, but it's well off the near. So we'll fit the threaded nut to the outside of the bike going through on the drive side. Give it a good wiggle to make sure it's got any sat in the right place. And skewer for me with the tapered O-ring style to fit into the O-ring style tapered hole. What I like to do with this is tighten them right up by hand before I put the cam on, just to make sure I've got everything snug and in place. And it sort of drops everything into place. And then back off a little bit to do the quicker release. All right, so that's nice and snug in place. But we'll back off a turn and a half. And quick release over. You can see there's a nice air gap between the brake now. Everything's snug. Yes, there's rock, everything. But the Neo does move like it should do. Makes it a little bit more comfortable, actually. But that is sat on there perfect, absolutely rock solid. The only things that are moving is the parts that should be moving. Right, I hope that's of help to you all. Um, any problems, give me a shout.